Yeah, hello and welcome back to another certified OG Jeffin video. Long time no see in this place. My old little garage. We have a pretty sick lineup of BMWs here. We have my E90, we have my G80, and back here, this is actually pretty special. This is an F80 M3, and this guy is all the way from California. And he's storing his car here with me in the meantime until he's coming back to Europe. So these three M3s, they are getting support today because we're picking up another BMW today. You can already pretty much read it by the title of the video. We're picking up an M2 G87. We're gonna drive it back to my other garage, to the workshop, and we're gonna modify it completely in only a few hours, hopefully. I don't really know how long it's gonna take, but honestly, we don't really have that much time because tomorrow we have to go to do a road trip with the M2. So by tomorrow, we should probably be done with everything and have a completely new M2 and also completely modified and pretty sick M2, if you ask me. Getting wheels, we're getting suspension, we're getting exhaust, we're getting lots of carbon parts. We're gonna completely transform the car. Apart from that, quick little update. GTR is still here, R34 is back there. My sister's aimed to GTR. Um, I'm picking up my Supra pretty soon, so that should hopefully be back by the time as well. And apart from that, E36 is at the other workshop, the Evo is at the other workshop, and TRX is back at home. All the other cars are in the US, so pretty scattered all across the world, I would say right now. But yeah, happy to have this back. We have a nice little feature in here, new steering wheel. I'm gonna show you that in a different video. And we also hopefully fixed the power steering issue with this one. Just picked it up. It's been at the workshop for over one month. And yeah, I'm gonna also explain that to you in a different video, but G80, E90, both back where they belong in my garage. And might have to do a video on this one as well, because this is actually one of the nicest F80 M3s I have ever driven. But enough talking, we don't have much time, so I think, it's time to go pick up the car now. I'm pretty, pretty nervous and hyped at the same time because ever since I tested it, I really, really wanted them too. And I think it's gonna be pretty cool for you guys as well. We have lots of stuff planned with it, obviously. So, Servus. Guten Morgen. <laughs> yeah, Gabriel is gonna go to the workshop in the meantime. There's still a few stuff to be done and he's also preparing all the parts. So we see Gabriel in like one hour, I would say. And And Selena's coming with me. So let's, let's fucking go. I think Selena's probably the most excited for the M2. It would have been a surprise for her and just showing up at the door with the brand new M2. But I kind of made a mistake yeah. and I just, I, I completely screwed up. Because when we were in Florida, we rented the M2, you saw it probably. And I did a pretty good job at not telling anybody that I'm getting an M2 until I just suddenly burst it out. And Celine was like, M2, I think is a pretty cool car. We'll see. I think we're gonna have a good time. And it's probably also one of those cars that Celine can enjoy because I think an M2 is, you might, I might get a hit for it, but an M2 is a pretty good girl's car. So yeah, it's still pretty early in the morning and we made it here to OJ Cars here in Tyrol, Austria. Yeah, we have to go downstairs to go where all the cars are. This is only like the office building. And this is Polo, by the way. Polo is gonna show you the car. Yeah, He's basically the Mitarbeiter des Monats here from OJ Cars. So we are in good hands. And we have to go all the way down here to the garages, which is somewhere over here, basically. They have some pretty cool cars here. And basically with OJ Cars, um, they rent cars, but you can also lease or finance them for a longer period, which I did with the M2. I have it for quite a few months. So we can test it basically in all the conditions and in all the times of the year. We can see it in winter and everything. So it's gonna be a pretty good time, I would say. And you already saw the M2. Yeah. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm a bit <laughs> nervous. Ich glaube, du wirst einen Spaß haben mit dem Wagen. Absolut. This is the new Sheepman M2. I had to go with the light blue color because this kind of reminds me of my F80 M3, which I had quite a long time ago. I also had pretty much the same spec in Florida when we entered the car. The only thing that is different now is that this car is not manual anymore, but I actually went with the automatic transmission because I think it suits the car a bit better, but you're gonna see it later on when we fully test the car in a few weeks, I would say. I really love how the car looks from the front. I already said it once. The grill and everything looks amazing. The only thing that needs a bit of enhancement is obviously the rear, um, but we have some parts for that already in the garage and the exhaust. You will hear it later. This needs definitely a little makeover. Car is still pretty high up, but we're also gonna change that. 
and we also have different wheels and obviously some spacers to make it look even better. We have the stock seats. Unfortunately, it is really hard to get the bucket seats here in Europe for the M2. So this is pretty much the quickest way to get the car was with these seats. But we also have a solution for that to make these seats a bit more beautiful. Inside, obviously, carbon fiber everywhere. You have the huge display because this is the new model already. And you have these cool things here on the door, which I like. I don't know, Celine doesn't like them for some reason, but I think they look very, very cool. Apart from that, you also have a very nice tractor and something like this. I don't even... Ah, buh, buh, maxi. Ultra geil. If you're of in the area and you want to rent a cool car, I guess you can rent this. You already saw it in one of my videos a very long time ago when Austin was here, he rented this one. And yeah, they have pretty cool cars down here, as you can see. This is... Uh, what is this? A zwei... This is 296 GTB. 296 GTB. Then we have Evo, or? Flow capsule, yeah. Evo in fluid capsule. So this is not wrapped. This is actually factory option, not a factory option, but like it was painted by Lamborghini this way. And obviously a GT3 RS. Everybody loves it. Everybody knows it. And pretty nice to see down here. They have like way more cars all across Austria. So, but this one gonna take good care of it, I would say. Enough talking. Let's go. <sighs> and bring her back home. It's not a hair. Huh? This is Kenny Z. Kenny Z? No. Driving this car now, I really have to say that you really don't feel the car has an inline six with like 450 horsepower because it. I mean, inside, obviously, through the speakers, you have sound boost and everything, but on the outside, the car really sounds like a vacuum cleaner. And this is gonna be pretty much the first thing we're gonna change today is the exhaust because this is, I think, one of the most important. It's gonna be very interesting seeing how this car in general compares to my G80 once everything is set up. We have a really good suspension coming in. We have very cool wheels for it. And what I'm most excited about is next to the exhaust, all the carbon parts, because we have so many carbon parts of this car. It's completely insane. It feels like the whole car is gonna get carbon, carbon fiber everywhere. So I see you guys in the garage. M2 is secured, big fan. It does look really good. We're waiting for you to, you should arrive in like five minutes and then we can start the process. It is now 4 p.m. Thursday, and let's see. It took a little bit longer. Tilo, Tilo, my wrapping expert, expert. Murat, my real <laughs> expert. Rapper. 50 cent or what? Yeah, 50. So this is Tilo and his crew. They have what we need, which we is... We have some specials for you. Also, some specials. Deutsch you know, English. <laughs> Mir ist egal. Oh. Alles türkisch. Dünn, wenn ich schaue. Was sagst du mit dem 2? Oh, geil. Genau, mit dem 2 halt. Ja, wirklich, ja. I saw that uh, 10 o'clock you start to build this. Ja, meine Jungs machen das, ist das fertig. Die können helfen, echt nicht. Ja, dann schau. Ja. <lacht> das ist zwei Stunden. Two hours, we need only two hours. Oi, 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 oi. Zwei Stunden Arbeit, alles einkommen? Ja. Mit Pause. Max, mit Pause. Jesus Maria. Jesus, Jesus Maria. Hast du das Geek Handy schon gesehen? Alter, ultra geil. Das ist schick, oder? Das ist die Farbe, originale Farbe. Richtig geil. I have a present for your daughter. Ah, Alter, geil. Das ist ja ultra geil. Seid ihr motiviert? Voll motiviert. Ja, jawohl, das passt. Du holst Essen, ich mach's fertig. Ja, passt. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Hero Performance, obviously for the wheels. Um, I have Hero Performance wheels nearly in all of my cars. R34 has Hero Performance wheels and the E90, and some of my other cars are getting Hero Performance wheels in the future. So, the wheels, you saw them. Suspension, obviously. KW, probably the best suspension if you have a BMW. All of these carbon parts were made by Carbon Held here in Germany, and he's actually coming later to visit us. By the way, E36 is parked here right now because we can't move the car. We lost the key, so we can't turn the steering wheel. Gabriel pushed it inside this garage four hours. It took him four hours to get the car inside here, and that's why it's parked in the middle of the garage. So I'm sorry for that. Alter, das Licht ist ultra geil, weil das vielleicht hat das Auto noch schön von unten. Aber schau, was voll geil ist für den neuen BMW. Ja. Du hast bei alle BMW bei der E6 bis 6 als Kindertagslager und wenn du da schaust, die sind direkt da auf dem Rahmen. Da gibt es kein Lager, da ist einfach ja. der Rahmen direkt auf der Karosserie gespannt. Ja, da fahren wir ins Baby. Ganze 
Akkuwerkzeug weg und jetzt muss alles mit dem Auto. Minuten. This is the OG one and this is the upgraded one. Oh yeah. Uh, this you need to do if you drive an M2 G87 like this one mm -hmm. or M3 G80 G82. Mm -hmm. You need to do this if you change your wheels to the 20s uh, setup. Yeah. For example like now uh, Sheepman is doing uh, on the front here is 10.5 by 20. Mm -hmm. If you don't do you will drop against this one. Yeah this is gonna yeah. be destroyed. Yeah that's why we destroy it. We have here a kit. <laughs> Yeah. And then uh, you have no rubbing issue and he can drift much better. You can drift like 10 degree more angel. <laughs> 10 <laughs> degree? <laughs> okay. Also, ne, wenn es funktioniert, dann ist gar nicht so der Platz. Ich glaube, das kommt nur drauf. Ja. Ah, das ist mit alles nur draufgelegt. Das muss aber abgucken. Das Problem ist, wenn ich die abmache, hat er keine Möglichkeit, sein Kennzeichen. Ja, aber das kommt, das, da kommt man sonst nicht okay. ran. Ja, kein Ding. Wie läuft's mit dem Dämpfer? Super. Ähm, du musst das schnell öffnen, bitte. Okay, was wir machen? Ja, wir schreiben mal das müssen. Jetzt einfach. Ich glaube, es beißt. Ja? ja also ich kann zumindest nicht mehr weiter mit den Fingern drehen. Perfekt. So far, everything's going pretty good. All suspension is already out. New suspension is on the way in. Mounting some of the carbon parts now. Most of them are just stuck on the car because it's mostly just the cosmetic stuff. But yeah. This makes so good a geräusch. My schmaler Grazi schon passt. Ah, mag schon drucken. Und es packt und es kaputt. This is so ge... Nicht nett. Das ist der voll die geile Fassbinder. Schaust du nur irgendwie raus? Oh, sind noch Gulag, Covid. So muss man so eine fette Garage und keinen verrückten Federspanner. Was war das Geheimnis, Mani? Ohne Federspanner. Aber das, aber das glaubst du halt nie, ne? Das also ohne Federspanner? Ja, ja. Das das ist das ist das ohne Federspanner zu ist schon hart eigentlich. Hey, hey servus! Der Carbonmeister. Hau ich rein. Grüß dich. Ah, Auspuffklapperl. Ja. Jawohl. Nagel neu. So, this is the guy, by the way. Hi. 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 Responsible for all these parts lying on the floor. So if you ever need carbon parts for any of your BMWs, he will gladly supply you with everything you need. Und was sagst du deine eigenen Teile? Perfekt. Wunderschön. Back are still missing. Yeah. Old school baby. Yeah, really. Old school. We probably have to know that Mani is an old stance boy. He used to ride around with probably like the lowest possible cars on the planet Earth. So he's used to doing shit like this all the time. I'm used to it because I only uh, lowered the car on jack stands. So I'm used to it being shitty to work. Yeah, being low and shitty to work. Yeah, the hair stops selber here. Yeah. Warte, die hier ist ein bisschen Schweiß. Das ist nur ein Schiff, der packt selber an. So the only thing being kind of a bitch right now is this. Ah, haben wir schon. So getting these off the old ones was a bitch. So Mani is doing basically the suspension delete. Electronic damper system delete. Which is annoying because it's back here somewhere. The original dampers have electronic dampening control, which makes your suspension hard or soft. And the KW, they are always hard. Otherwise you're gonna have a check damper light or like an error message in the dashboard. Here, by the way, is the proof that if you open the valves in the original exhaust, it's pretty much just straight pipe. Here is the valve down here. And if they're open, just go straight through here. No, no restriction, nothing. And if you close them, they go through here. That's why you can leave the original rear muffler with no issues. And you basically have a straight pipe exhaust if you remove the stuff in the front. Suspension and everything is done, as you can see. And the wheels are also on the car, except for one. So I'm gonna film that one wheel coming onto the car now for you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> But the wheels look very good so far. It's insane how concave these wheels are. Look at the rear. <laughs> By the way, we're not putting these on yet because uh, we have to leave tomorrow to go to some event. And we don't have time to properly adjust the car. And having these inside the car would mean that we need to get the car aligned, which we can't do here at my shop. So 
gonna do that at a later point, but thanks to KW for sending it out to me anyway. Also, we still need to put all the carbon parts and most importantly, the exhaust on the car at one point. The moment of truth, I think this is gonna look very, very good. Jeder. <laughs> oh yeah, this fast. Was spinst du? Alter, bitte tiefer. Ja, okay. Ja. Schau dir zu. Ja. Alter, wie hoch ist der hinten, was er zehnten macht? Der setzt sich noch. Hey, noch hey lass mal es ohne, Alter. Das, das schaut ja viel geil aus. Ja, das sieht echt cool aus. Ja. Na so, ja. Das ist ja voll schön aus. Ja, wir können es dann später auch hey, sorry. Wir können wir mal noch da machen. Habt ihr so einen Countdown gemacht? So wie lange ihr braucht? Wie viele Stunden haben wir schon? Also jetzt haben wir vier Stunden schon. Wir haben zwei Stunden länger gebraucht für das Fahrwerk, als wir eigentlich ursprünglich gesagt haben. Zwei Stunden ist fertig. Ne? Wir sehen uns in vier Stunden. <lacht> so, before we do the exhaust, this, by the way, is the module that basically lets you control your valves. Is it complicated? No, it's not complicated. It's plug and play. Plug and play. Aber halt mit Kupfer aus irgendeinem Grund. Because obviously, um, the original valves, you can't really open them. They work together with GPS, which is pretty crazy. So in a city, for example, you can't fully open your valves with the OEM exhaust, which makes sense. But also at the same time, at certain speeds, the valves close, which is annoying if you go to the racetrack, for example, because then you're still in the racetrack and your car can't be as loud as it would usually be. So with the valve controller that they just plugged in in the rear, you can basically have them open or shut 100% of the time, which we want. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Draußen ist eine Überraschung, da kommt noch was Geiles hin. Die Typ, Alter. Oh, das ist geil, mal stehen unter dem Auto. The a very annoying part of the original exhaust is that they are one piece. So all the way from the front, all the way to the rear. It's one piece, so you have to cut it apart. If you want to replace some smaller pieces and still keep the rear section on. Was ich mich erinnern kann, ist das immer richtig scheiße gewesen, so aussehen eben dann. Das geht jetzt super. Das geht. Ah ja, okay, das ist ja ultra easy gegangen. Bis deppert. So, these are the pipes that we have. They are very special. They have um, smaller catalysators and smaller OPFs inside them. They are a bit smaller than the original ones. Because these are the rear secondary cats. And these are the OPFs, which all European cars have. And in here is a secondary cat, a smaller one and a smaller OPF. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna change these because it just looks better and uh, also it saves a lot of weight. Then we're gonna have to do all the cable work to ensure that the car is running properly. This should definitely help with weight savings. Ah yeah, and they must also raus, because it weighs auch very much. So the pipes are in the car, only the rear muffler is missing. Yeah. Formula drifts back. This was geil. Boah, this is the coolest thing ever. When the auspuff form tief fahrt. This do we do when the auspuff form tief fahrt. By the way, really quick. While they are doing the rear muffler, we have quite a different exhaust setup here compared to my G80. Because here, as you can see, both exhausts come out of this side and they go over to this side. And they come back together here. This is equal length setup. With the G80, this one joins this side together for one huge mid pipe and then goes outside in the rear. So this is equal length. It's gonna sound comparably different. And with my G80 being a single mid pipe, it's the way it sounds, my G80. It sounds very raspy. So I'm gonna be very curious to hear how this one sounds. Schaut dort übrigens ein Scherb, den Auspuff. So, what a geil setup. Pump it up. So the exhaust itself is on the car. It seems to fit pretty well. Uh, now the only thing we need to do is obviously figure out how to delete the OPF without doing a software because software takes forever and this is an easier and quicker fix than yeah. doing software. I hope it works. Yeah. There's different ways to get rid of like the, the sensors here so that they don't throw an error message in the car but I think this is probably the best one with these adapters that we have. So yeah, six hours to get exhaust wheels and the suspension into the car. Obviously we didn't really work on the car all the time. We had some food in between everything and some things were pretty, pretty annoying. While they're doing all the cable stuff in the trunk, we are going to try to get all the carbon stuff into the car, which is gonna be pretty easy and pretty nice. Seat covers for the rear. Just peel off the sticky tape, push it onto the seat. Das schaut gar nach Ultra Spaß aus, was ist da macht. Das ist Spaß. Oder Kabelsalat, das ist ja voll geil. 
Ich glaube, der Stecker ist noch. Was ist das mit den Hacken eigentlich? Ja, Hackfleisch hassen jetzt ein Hacker. So, quick little update. We have all the carbon you can eat. Basically, everywhere on the car is carbon now. Steven Column, even here we have carbon. Seats are carbon. The only thing, we have some issues with the wires because there's one, one plug missing. Um, it didn't come in the package. But Mani has a genius idea because they unplugged some cables when they did the shocks and I think they can use the cables from the electronic damper system to just plug it into here. Hey, wo sind denn meine, wo ist meine Mittelkonsole? Kollege. Yeah, boy. Carbon fiber. Everywhere. Also ich glaube, ich offiziell der M2 mit dem meisten Carbon im Interior. Ich finde aber, ohne Scheiß, ich finde die lackierten Szene als Carbon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Looks-wise, we're pretty much done. I really think I'm gonna go with no spoiler in the rear, because I actually really like the look right now. Once we get the big wing painted, we're probably gonna put it in the car. But it's a bit high right now, still, but it's supposed to lower over the next few kilometers. And we are going to go to sleep now. And then tomorrow in the morning, we're gonna fix that one wire. Otherwise the car is just not gonna run at all. There's no way we're gonna get that today because it is right now 1 a.m. in the morning. So we're gonna probably just do that tomorrow in the morning and then we can turn on the car and we should be done. One look at the car. I really, really have to say it looks fantastic right now. The wheels and everything, it matches together so nicely. These guys did some amazing work so far. I'm gonna see you guys again tomorrow in the morning. Uh, you can probably hear and feel it right now. We're all pretty tired. So, see you guys in a few hours. Welcome back. It is now the next day. I went to get a haircut. But anyway, the car is finished now. Mani and Gabriel, but mainly Mani, was basically working on getting all the cables sorted out in the car. It was a pain in the ass because we were missing one wire down here. And Mani used one from my makeup light now. We're gonna start the car really quick because I really want to listen how it sounds now. And then we're gonna go for a quick test drive and then we're gonna go have a quick overview over everything, what we did to the car in those six hours yesterday. The car feels and looks like a completely different car now, which is exactly what we wanted. <sighs> Let's see if we did the right thing and if we created a good sounding BMW. 2000 kilometers on the clock, fresh off the first break-in. Take it for a quick little test drive to see if everything works how it's supposed to work. The car sounds how it's supposed to sound now. Also, we came again. It feels like the baby version of my G. <laughs> it literally feels like we're inside my G80, but minus a little bit of power. Yeah, and a little bit closer. Huh? And a little bit closer together. <laughs> yeah, sure. But so far, the suspension feels incredibly nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, we didn't even adjust anything. We just literally <laughs> put the suspension in the car yeah. and made it pretty much to the lowest setting possible. Not quite, but there's not much room left. The exhaust sounds amazing and yeah. they all seem to work really, really great. Okay, we're gonna drive outside the city a little bit so we can properly test out everything. Like you've done already, like a 
like a software or something to the car. I don't yeah. know, it doesn't feel like it's... Uh, I think they have like 450 horsepower stock. Could be a bit more, but it feels way faster. Than I that. know why. why. Of the rate reduction of the exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> and then... <laughs> The only thing is, I still wish we had the complete bucket seats like in the G80, yeah. but you know, you can't have everything. Um, but they're also comfy, I like it. Yeah, we're gonna get you some outside clips so you can hear how the car sounds. And then we'll see you again at the old garage oh, with yeah. the other M3s. So we have a BMW <laughs> reunion kind of. <laughs> Key to the garage, so Gabriel is coming right now to the garage to bring us the keys for my own garage. So, <laughs> thanks, Gabriel. But yeah, I mean, so far, honestly, I really, really like the sound of the car. Mm -hmm. um, it's not too much, but it's perfect sound. It's a bit raspy, yeah. so but a completely different sound than a G80, in my opinion. And I think that is because of the, obviously the equal length exhaust setup that we have on this one right now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, let's get out of the car and wait for Gabriel, and then I give you a resume. Yes, Soka. Nice. <laughs> das so nur tief vor oder? Perfekt. Ich finde nicht, ja, voll schön. Ja. Hinten darf nach Spurplatten gehen, 0,5er. Ja, fix. Die nehmen wir mal 2 Meter, ne? Ja. <lacht> das schließt sich. <lacht> Servus, sorry. Ich hab's vergessen, Obi. Deine Musik hören? Das passt. <lacht> Jawohl, danke schön, dass du mich daheim reinlässt. Hey, if anybody wants some R8 wheels, 500 euros and they're yours. Stellen wir mal beide nebeneinander. I mean, obviously the G80 is way louder than the M2 because, you know, it's an M3. We just line them both up really quick. Bro, the steering wheel is insane. I haven't really got the chance to test it properly. Sag mal, Bus ist geil, der passt im Hintergrund. Team M2 or Team M3? I don't really know which one I like better. I really like the color of the M2 right now. The M3 looks a bit more aggressive, but... I like the front of the G80 more and the lights, because it's more... Yeah, like it looks a bit more aggressive. aggressive, yeah. I have the feeling that the M2 might actually be the better car for doing what I do, drifting in the mountain roads, because it's a bit lighter and a bit more compact. So theoretically, I should be able to throw it around more. I guess we have to test it out in a different video. Huge shout out again to the guys from Carbon Held, Carbon Hero. Gear performance, obviously. Also, very, very cool of you to bring all his friends to help us building the M2. And obviously to KW for helping us get a nice suspension on the car. <laughs> also, I put the Google, the G80 has 1770 kilo yeah. and the M2 has 1805 kilo. Die schockiert mir jetzt ein bisschen, Alter. Ja. Fette Sau, Fette wirklich. Sau, <lacht> <lacht> also, müssen wir noch rausfinden, wie es auf der Baustraße ist. Ja, es ist bauen wir da ein paar Sachen aus, dass es leichter wird. Ein Vorsitz. <lacht> also, du testest jetzt M2 einmal. Ja, Schauen wir mal, wie es so taugt. I'm gonna let Gabriel test the M2 really quick, because obviously him and Mani, they did a major part of building the car. So they should also be the ones enjoying it a little bit. And Gabriel has never really driven a car like this, I think, oder? No. Yeah. <laughs> Gabriel is used to having like the wildest drift cars, but not an M2. So we'll see how he likes it. And I have to go and drive Celine to the train really quick. We'll see. Aber es ist geil. 
really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one when we test the M2 hopefully.